Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hi, how's it going? I hope the day is really great for you. For me, it's all about work today. A lot of work showed up today and I have to do all of the things by my own. It's just one of the downsides of being a one-man army, but I'm happy with that. So I'll be working all of the things and most of my day is going to be on this desk, but that doesn't mean the blog or the vlog that we are doing here is gonna be boring. It's gonna be again interesting, but first I have to finish up some work and maybe in the evening time I'll hit the road again. Let me tell you a very interesting story today. This will surely help you to achieve quite a lot of things in life and choosing the right ways. So let's begin the story. There used to be a man, he was a great artist. Although he was learning as he was in very initial days, uh, just a couple of years, but he was a great artist, having a great knowledge about color skills, sketchings and all of the things. But he was always keen about learning. He wanted to learn more. He wanted to improve more. So he decided that I'm going to be painting a wall uh, on the roadside, on the street side. And he did that. He did a very good job, one of his best work ever. And he decided that I know this work can be improved a little bit. So what he did, he decided that I'll be painting a side black wall. And he wrote a note under the painting that everything can be improved. If you think that there can be things that can be improved in this painting, please write the note and your suggestions. We are open for criticism. And he went for the dinner. And when the next day he came up, he saw that the entire board was full and everybody was criticizing the picture, the painting that he made. Everybody was saying, hey, this is not correct. Your color saturation is not good. This is not good. This is not bad. This is right now. And everybody was just claiming none of the single person actually appreciated what he did. So he thought that I'm not at all good in paintings. Maybe I should decide for some different career or something like that. He went to his guru and asked, hey, uh, I'm not making any good things here. I'm, I'm very depressed and stuff. So he said, why are you so, you are such a bright and talented student. What makes you think that you are not making good in these painting stuff? He narrated the entire story that if this has happened and I designed and this was one of my best work and everybody was criticizing, I'm not at all good in that. Guru understand that what actually is happening. So he said, okay, let's do another thing, but this time we'll do it a little bit different and you will see the improvement just after that. So they went again, the guru deleted the entire painting or you can say painted, whitewashed it and everything. And he asked the, the, the designer again or the painter again that, hey, do another painting and don't do your best work, just do it. So he did the same. And while he was writing another note that if you need some criticism or you want some suggestions, please say us to or something like that. He said, don't write that note. Just write the note that I'm saying. So he said, write a note that says, here is the paint, here is the brush. If you think that painting can be improved a little bit, please do that. And they went, they came back next day. Nobody actually touched the brush. And he thought that, hey, painting is really good this time. He said, no, painting was actually bad from the last one, but the thought that you put in the people's mind is a little bit different this time. Last time you asked every person that, hey, what you, what you liked about the painting and what you didn't like it, and can you, can you tell me something more about it? Everybody is good about criticism without understanding. Like uh, when the note banning happened in India or the demonetization, everybody was uh, giving advice. Everybody instantly became the monetization expert. That happens. When you show somebody your app, everybody is going to say like, hey, this is bad, this, is, this should be improved. But when you ask somebody that, hey, can you write the code for it? It's not like that. Nobody will do that. So people are really great in criticizing the things. People are not in making the things. Now this story can be taken on to a wrong thing pretty easily, but don't do that. Let me explain it a little bit more. Now taking advice is really helpful, it's really important, but make sure you don't take any random people's advice. Make sure you take the advice from the experts itself. Now if I'll, I'll be giving you advice about 
your health, your conditions, that would be really, uh, really not a good thing. I can share my experience for sure, but taking advice about health issues from me is not a good idea. You can take advice from me on the code issues. Similarly, take advice only from the experts. If you are going to take advice from any random third person on the street, that's not going to work out. That's not how the thing works. So make sure always and always you do remember this story. This story really helps me every single time. Whenever I am in a confusion state, I want to take some advice. I always go and look out for the experts. I don't take advice from the random third party. For sure, I always take uh, notes of the people if they are good or not, but then I just cross check and verify them with the experts. I think you should also do that.